Update on the Bills Stadium project. The new stadium inclusion task force is being taken over by a new community benefits oversight committee. Two on your sides, Kelly Dudzik joins us now with the details. Kelly? Well, Lauren, that committee just met Monday morning for the first time since the community benefits agreement for the stadium established it last year. It's a nine member panel and it'll continue the work of the new stadium inclusion task force, which disbanded. Erie County Legislature Chairwoman April Baskin announced the end of the task force yesterday and told me that one of its goals was to make sure they got documentation that women, minority and disabled veterans who are business owners are involved in building the new stadium. She was satisfied with the progress that's being made and says this project can be used as an example of how to include marginalized groups for years to come. This is an opportunity for us to set a template just like we set a monumental template for the NFL with our community benefits agreement on how big construction firms can come into cities, uh, gain public dollars for their private entity, but make sure that they are reinvesting into the small businesses that exist as they build. Because when the stadium is said and done and built, which we'll all be excited about, Gilbane and Turner Construction will move on to their next project. Maybe it's local, maybe it's not. But the residents of Buffalo and Erie County, the contractors, the contractor suppliers, the vendors, the retailers, all the small business owners, we're here forever. And this was our public money that we invested into this entity. It will be the Oversight Committee's job to make sure the developer is in compliance with the Community Benefits Agreement. New tonight on the 530, you'll hear from the woman who owns the development firm that will be working with the Oversight Committee to make sure everything is in compliance. On your side, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.